And hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Bogman here. You know what it's time to do? It's flute time. But, more importantly as we play Dragon Quest XI, let's go talk to the weird crazy time ghost. Yeah, it turns out she's Serenica. But the twins? I don't know anymore. If anyone wants to correct me, like, I was under the impression that the twins were supposed to be the reincarnation of Serenica. Just like the hero is the reincarnation of the, uh, the Luminary. Instead of just some random new guy who got luminary powers. But then if Serenica is also the time ghost. And the twins are around. It leaves me very confused. So confused. Hmm. How do I get that cog? Well, hold on. Uh, party talk? Hmm. Candidates? Ah, the, the, right, the watchers. Right. I knew that. I totally knew that. Watchers, Tower of Serenica, not know, Tower of Mural, while Pitchman lives over there. Yes, yes, yes. I do know of that place. Mm -hmm. Give me your time, Cog. I hunger for the time cog. Time cog. So, Luminary. Seedlings found? Guidance granted? Give me the time cog! This scent. Old scent. Familiar. I'm sorry, it's my old spice. Elder? Scent of Morkant. Yeah, we totally murdered him. Well. But then his ghost half, I don't know, just got to hang around for a while. Until all the relevant plot information was shared. Suspected. But did not know. Morkant's sorcery was great. Greatest, perhaps. But his heart torn. Yeah. Evil Never spoken to his brain. Satisfied. Always craving more. More power. Too much. You yeah, know, no, that's that sounds that's not what the seer told us. Now you go to meet with Serenica. I mean, Morkin's thing was all like, oh yeah, an evil voice made me stab him. I didn't want to. I tried to resist as much as I could. Um, which is a very different thing from, oh yeah, no, Morkin was just naturally, he's like, he saw his opportunity, he was, he wanted the power. So this will get us into Serenica's tower, will it? Thank you very much, Eagle Tap. Send regards to Serenica. Eagle Taps. Regards. Mm. 
time. No tower, tower of lost time. Yeah, I know the place. You know, one day I'll go back to the Luminaire's Landing. We're supposed to get Cetacea. And be like, hey, this is where you get the bird, the whale. Unless, you know, just play the flute. Anyway. Don't have to do even a fishing rod thing. Makes me wonder why there even was a fishing rod thing. But it's okay, because Flappy Whale's the best. All right, let's go with round three, four, eight. Well, we're going back to the tower. The spooky time tower where spooky non interfering spook ghosts uh, were all like, hey, you lady, we're going to make you into a ghost. A time ghost. Time Ghost. It worked. That's grand. Let's go and meet Serenica, shall we? Come on, laddie. We have a date with destiny. Oh, look at that smile, little middle bevel on his sword. Yay, time of lost time. Now, sadly, uh, there won't be any spare chests for me in here. Which is a great and terrible sadness. Because I love chests. Lady chests. Treasure chests. Um, Chester fields. Ugh. And you say, why, Bogmod? Why are there no chests in here? Well, you see, in an alternate future timeline that doesn't exist anymore, but does, we loot to the treasure. That's why, in this different place where we've never been in this timeline, there's no treasure. It makes perfect sense, except that it doesn't, and it's lazy, and it's a badly done time travel plot. Oh, Serenica. It's weird, though. The Sword of Light was necessary to get rid of Morkant's magic shadow. But Cetacea was necessary to get rid of the evil one, the dark ones? I don't know. Hey, Serenica. You look more blobby than usual. Well, I say that, but in terms of actual lifespan, Serenica spent more time as a blob than as herself. Are you Serenica? Serenica? Nope. This is not a name I know. State your purpose here. The Dark One has returned, and, well, we you to give us the power to save the world. You are an abomination of time. I mean, hmm. Save the world. But you did that already. Do you remember this, Serenica? This was your flute. I, I know it. But from where? So anyone else think it's really weird these magic ghosties did this to her? Like it's normally me like, hmm, it's kind of like, no, I don't think she asked for this. Yes, it is there, and yet the flute I remember was different. Mightier. 
More fishing pole. It can play but one melody, but it is a great. That enhancement thing was completely unnecessary. A sacred one. Again. A song of awakening. A song handed down through the years. A whole lot of these scenes are kind of meant to be viewed only within the context of that scene and hoping you ignore everything else that's happened in the game. I think we know that song. Veronica? Mm-hmm. Rejoice! Rejoice! The time is come! Arise! Awaken, Holy One! We offer unto you the skies. Fly free once more! Arise! Arise! Ooh! This is a different sounding tune. Kind of like it though. Of course, I'll be honest with how how much of this game has had the very same tunes all the time. Anything new is appreciated, but uh, appreciate it, I shall. It's, it's, it's. Ooh, I've got my light sword. I could break time again. Is that, is that what I'm going to do? Again, why couldn't you have just had the sword do it? Right? But you know what? Flappy Whale seems happy with her new armor. So I'm okay with it. The flap, 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 tastic whale. Oh, Satasha, darling, you're looking just fabulous. A vision, literally. Long have I waited since the time. Erdwin, since the last great clash with Kalasmos. <gasps> she. she spoke to us. She's a magic flying whale! I think she's trying to tell us something. I think she's speaking into your brain, Serena. But no. The Dark One is powerful beyond imagining. I don't think you're right. A trial awaits you. Oh. Beneath once mighty Tzvart's rust. A means to test thy metal ere the final fight begins. Go to him. Go to Drustum, and when the time comes, 
hearts. When you would pierce the wall that guards him, I stand ready to serve thee. There's air plankton up there that she eats. Ah, a wee practice scrap or two before the main event sounds like just what we need. I reckon we could do worse than pay Svard's rust a visit. All right. He's right. This is one battle we can't be too prepared for. Let's go get fighting fit before we take him down. <laughs> oh, so no. So the reason I'm cackling madly is again, right? All of these scenes are meant to be looked at only within the individual context of the scene. Remember the scene was like, you can't waste time. You better play that flute right now. You got to solve this right away. Time is of the essence. Uh, when the Dark One had first shown up, we were all like, oh shit. But I was like, eh, you know. However long it takes for us to get ready, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know what? Whale's happy, so I'm okay. That's right! They stole your memories, I suppose, when they turned you into an immortal guardian goon of their... Of, for this place. That's messed up! Alright, go to Cetacea, the Warriors Rest. We got the Bash of the Skies, we got Flappy Whales. Oh, more flappy and golden than ever. Alright. Uh, but I still got some quests in Honolulu. And I still got some places I'd like to visit. Um, so let's go hit up Nautica. I'm a fishman. Anything interesting happening in the sea in the alternate dimension where you weren't attacked by a demon army? Not that it hurt any of you. Her, oh, something's upset the queen. All right. Something's a bother in the queen. You know what? If a giant demon army that has you trapped and then breaks a super magical awesome shield of the queens can't kill any of you, I don't care about any little goons that are bothering the place. I, I just can't feel like they matter at all. Hi, Queenie. Chase. Matter. Piece of Volcanoes go bouldering in batter! The pearl with which I watch from the sea was stolen by a maddened beast. The glimmer of the pearl. The. So the pearl of wisdom is light? Okay. Alright, it's that. Ma it's the big pearl she has in the back. Bathy's. Bathy's figure. Oh, no, first you can Memory liar. All right. Any fighter. All right. Let's go to Gondolia Sea. Because I need to check those islands. Because I know one of those islands had a. One of these islands had a door that was based on, uh, that had uh, the, the final key, the magic key, to open up.
Oh, in here. Delicious tricks, love. <laughs> they were malicious, Did I do but now right? they're dead. All right, well, I'm gonna take a little break here. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll come back shortly. We'll finish visiting all the places in the world that we haven't been to. In this alternate timeline, so stay tuned for that.